Hello and welcome to Advanced Solutions Tech Support YouTube channel. Uh, you are probably, probably here because you are getting that annoying error. Contact your administrator. Uh, today I am going to be showing you how to assign a user in your Autodesk account for them to be able to use this software. So first you want to open up a web browser. Uh, any web browser is fine. Uh, type in Autodesk login or if you know the actual URL you can go there as well. Um, but it looks like the actual URL is accounts.autodesk.com but I just Google search into Autodesk login that brings up the Google search as you saw here and it's usually the first one or you can choose the second one either one works so once we get here um, you'll go ahead and type in your uh, account info and your password and all that uh, and once you get into there you'll want to click on management here and inside management we're gonna have if you if you are the contact administrator you're gonna have what I have uh, which is all these sides bars here. So, so you will have all, fi all five of these. Now if you're not contact ma uh, administrator, you're only going to have two of these. So if you have that, then you are not the contact administrator and you will need to send us an email or find your contact administrator, um, whoever that is inside your company. But if you are the contact administrator, you will go to users here on the side. Uh, here you will have a list of users that are within your company as you can see we have a lot of users in our company that uh, use Autodesk accounts so what you're gonna do if the user is not already assigned you will hit add at the top here in this section you'll put in their work email their first and last name and then you'll hit add user now here's the catch make sure that you are using their either their work email which, whichever is tied into their Autodesk account so if they don't have a, an Autodesk account created already, make sure they create one. Use either the same email with their work or create an email with their Autodesk account. And this is their email that they will be logging into whenever they try to sign into their Autodesk uh, software. Uh, once you do this and you assign this user, you'll get their name here. Uh, you'll go over into the side and you'll click Edit Access. Uh, and here you'll get a list of products that you currently own. Uh, you will have a check mark beside it, uh, whichever who is assigned to, and what you'll see is how many seats are available. Um, if the seats are taken, you won't be able to check mark it. So make sure whoever you are not wanting to have that current software assigned to, you go to say Ad Adrian and Mizell if you want to go to them, and you want to unassign. Well, for example, they don't have these people, but if you wanted to unassign it, you would just click that, and then that seat would be taken away. Then you would go to Adriana and assign it to her, and then they would have that seat. So this is where you'll have to go to uh, assign your coworkers access to the software to get them up and running whenever you get the contact administrator uh, error every time you try to launch the program. Uh, if you guys have any additional questions, uh, please stick through the video. There will be our phone number and our email uh, to contact us if you have any other questions. Thank you.